Hello everybody, my name is Bryson and um, I'm just sitting here enjoying a beautiful spring day uh, here in Chicago um, in my backyard and uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about um, you know a lot of the concerns that people you know have right now. I mean obviously uh, there's a lot of uncertainty right now um, and regardless of what your personal political beliefs or whatever your beliefs are regarding what this situation is with the, with the uh, coronavirus, um, you know, everyone is very, uh, feels very insecure about the future, or many people, I should say, not, not, not necessarily everybody, but a lot of people feel, feel very insecure about the future. And, you know, and, uh, you know, it's obvious that we will be heading into an, uh, an economic downturn. And, you know, a lot of people are very unsure about what to expect, you know, in the coming six months, year, maybe even more than a year, especially those that have children. You know, I'm lucky that, um, I mean, I would like to have children one day, but uh, right now I don't have to, you know, concern myself with a family. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, I know that those who have families are, are, are very concerned. And, you know, in doing some deep thoughts, you know, about everything that's going on and just kind of analyzing the conversations that I've had with people, I have realized that the key to all of this is making the choice. And it's up to you and up to all of us to make the choice as to whether we want what is coming to be the dark ages or a renaissance. And this applies from both a personal and a social level on both a micro and the macro level. So, you know, as far as darkness, you know, a lot of people, because of uncertainties um, and the stress that they feel, uh, they have been um, getting into uh, bad mental states. They are, <coughs> excuse me, getting into uh, bad uh, uh, addictions, addictive behaviors, uh, and just many other types of bad behaviors that are not, you know, helping them. Uh, move forward and that is um, the dark side that 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 is putting your mind you know into a dark age by you know getting into hyper uh, uh, concerned mentalities and remaining in a fight or flight state and so when you're in a constant fight or flight state because you're uncertain about the future this can have you know a lot of detriment on your life now on the other side of the coin, you can, on a personal level, make it your renaissance. You know, many people now that the normal five day a week, nine to five cycle has been uh, disrupted are now with their extra time that they have really making a lot of discoveries about themselves. Um, you know, realizing that uh, the frequency that they've been on isn't all there is that you know you've been going on this cycle just because there are systems in place that have told you to go along with that cycle in fact one of the big things that people have been telling me is that um they have been even even forgetting what day of the week it is well the truth of the matter is days of the week are a fictional and an abstract concept of the of the mind um every day is just a new day and um we only create these systems uh, these days of the week system so that we can sync society to serve the system that has been in place. And so as a result of that being removed, people are seeing other alternatives. They're seeing other perspectives. I can say personally that I've discovered a lot about myself. Uh, I have been able to uh, get a lot of things done and make a, get a lot of, uh, 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 complete a lot of accomplishments that I had been mentally uh, stuck on. Uh, my mental wellness has gotten to actually a really good level because um, I have been uh, cooking really healthy meals. I've been working out. I've been getting plenty of sleep, getting sun. Um, and so I have made what is a dark age for many people, my personal renaissance. Now, <clears throat> excuse me for that. I smoked a little weed. Um, but if you want to talk about this on the, the flip side, of this on the uh, more macro social side, well, you can talk about the dark ages as in, you know, will we just do what everybody fears? 
and just fall in the, the, the dark ages and just turn into a chaotic society where everybody just reverts to the state of a baboon and just capitulates to this me, me, me uh, mentality uh, that is uh, caused by uh, unhealthy adherences to egocentrism, which goes back to the personal level, uh, and also materialism. And so when you have a society where everyone is conditioned to see other members of their society as competition, it can oftentimes build hostility that uh, builds upon itself as people become increasingly more paranoid of each other. And so, um, and then the ultimate thing that everyone's afraid of is not only an economic crisis, but then of course the thing that's floating around now is, is leading down the path to a uh, World War, War III, which could result in complete and utter nuclear an annihilation. Now, the answer to that is pretty obvious. The, the answer is obviously no to that. If I were to walk down the street and just approach random people, the most likely every single person, unless, they, you know, if they're being honest, every single person that I would encounter would most likely tell me absolutely that they vehemently oppose the idea of us marching to a war where there is no no victory. There's no, I mean, there is no victory in any war, but that is, you know, that would, you know, go into this one of having a bunch of large nuclear powers, you know, fighting each other. And the, the truth is, is nobody wants that. So why that's even discussed and why that's even a topic is absurd. And the truth of the matter is, is that there are only a handful of people in this world who are actually willing to use them. And we need to keep them in check. The reality is they are outnumbered. If we all stand up and say, no, this does not have to happen. And what can instead happen out of what is going on is we can move toward more of a renaissance period where people, as they discover more about themselves, can start producing more art, music, um, uh, uh, civil ideas for civil policy, uh, economic ideas, agricultural, you know, whatever, just different ideas uh, and thoughts on how human society uh, should move uh, forward. So we have the choice and it is not something that we have to just simply uh, surrender to and just act like, oh, you know, poor little us, we can't, oh, there's nothing we can do. But yes, we can do something about it. We have the power. Nobody wants the dark, the dark option. We don't want this. Unfortunately, we have a lot of people that are in charge in this world who are making irresponsible decisions that have been failing the people. Um, and I'm not here to call out any specific names. Um, and they are not just politicians. You know, they are business leaders. They are media personalities. Uh, they they are lots of people. Um, and so, you know, the the real key is just taking care of yourself. You know, it's, um, just to go a little bit about what I've been doing, I have have. Uh, just really been putting huge focus, uh, uh, and I spoke about this a little earlier, you know, on my nutrition and just really staying in good shape, doing what I can to keep my body strong, uh, because at the end of the day, uh, regardless of, of what virus uh, we're talking about or what anything, whether we're, or, or whether we're talking about what, what really kills the majority of people, heart disease and cancer, uh, the key to all of this is taking care of yourself, and it all starts with you. So... We can go either way in history. We can go the Dark Ages or we can do, go to a new renaissance. And I'm hoping that the latter of those two um, can be the option that we choose. And so um, I hope that you all are taking care of yourself and you guys take care.